Good afternoon and welcome to the Bellator press conference. I will now turn the call over to Bellator's president, Scott Coker. Thank you. Um, I'd like to uh, thank everybody for joining us on today's conference call featuring the main event uh, competitors of Bellator 175, uh, Quentin Rampage Jackson and King Mo on the Wall, which takes place next Friday, March 3rd, 31st, at the Allstate Arena in Chicago, and which airs live on Spike uh, TV at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. Um, this is this is going to be an exciting rematch. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, we have a, a great fight card from top to bottom. Um, and uh, I'd like to thank Spike TV. I'd like to thank some of our sponsor, uh, sponsors like Beer from Miller, Monster Energy Drink, Dave & Buster's, Blackheart Rum. Uh, and I'll run down the card real quickly. I'm excited to see what Mar- Marcos Calvao can do and his debut at 145 pounds against Emmanuel Sanchez during the co-main event. We also got uh, Sergey Car- Sergei Caratano coming back and actually against Chase Barmley. And finally, Noah, uh, Noah Lahat uh, will beat Lloyd Carter. Uh, and the undefeated Steve Kozala takes on Jake Roberts. Uh, also, I'd like everybody to note that uh, we are, we're adding two more uh, fighters to our uh, tailgate, and uh, that's going to be Michael Chandler and Phil Davis. Uh, we'll join Pedro Melianenko and Royce Gracie uh, the day of. So uh, you'll have four great athletes there for all the fans to come meet them on the day of. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's been a big year for Bellator so far. We're excited about this fight. Uh, this is a fight that I've been personally looking forward to for a long time to, to make this rematch happen. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of exciting things ahead for 2017. But uh, let's turn it over at this time to the stars of the show, and that's Rampage Jackson and King Mala Wall. Thanks, guys. What's up? What's up? So if the media wants to uh, ask a question, they can press star one on their keypad. Uh, operator, this first time, or at this time, you can go to the first question, please. Once again, if you would like to ask a question, press star one on your telephone keypad. Our first question comes from Steve Juwan with MMA Mania. Your line is live. Thank you, operator. I have one question for everyone on the line, starting with Rampage. You said that you and King Mo had an argument in the back of a van after your first fight. What was that argument, and why did it make you so mad? The argument in the van was way before me and King Mo even fought. All right. What was it about? It was so long ago, I don't even remember. (laughs) But you remember it made you mad, and you want to beat his ass, right? (laughs) Right. That's all I remember. (laughs) Okay, well, uh, what's your plan on March 31st? How are you going to enact that vision? My my plan is to beat his ass. <laughs> All right, we'll just leave it at that then. King Mo, I'm going to go to you. We've talked about your fight previously, and you said that you weren't really disappointed in yourself. You were disappointed in the judges. What can you do differently this time to make sure that's not disappointing? Oh, man, for this, this, this fight right here, I'm going to be healthy. I'll be the American top team for about two years now because last time I was just new to the, new to the, uh, the gym, the new host train situation. But, man, I'm ready to go, man. All that talking and stuff in the past is done, man. You know what I'm saying? It's time to, it's time to rumble, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, next Friday, it's going to go down. It is. And for Scott, with the rematch this big and Bellator having just announced a pay-per-view coming up here on June 24th, why do this match free on Spike TV and not do it as a pay-per-view like the first fight was? Hey, Steve, uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt there. Scott actually had to jump off the call. So, uh, unfortunately, as far as questions are concerned, everybody uh, will, will be limited to uh, Rampage Jackson and, and King Mo. No problem. I'll let the next caller get on. Thank you. Our next question comes from Nicholas Cunningham. Your line is live. Yeah, my question is for uh, both of you guys. Maybe you could answer first, Rampage. Um, we're close to Chicago where uh, my publication is at, and uh, I just wanted to know how you guys specifically feel about coming to Chicago, fighting there. It's been a while since Bellator has been there. Um, what do you guys like best about going to Chicago and being there for a few days? I love Chicago, man. I love it. Chicago, the Windy City. Yeah. What, you know, it's been a while since you've been there, too. Is there anything you're looking forward to doing coming back, aside from a, a big fight, obviously? 
Yeah, I, I, I like Chicago. I look forward to, you know, having me one of Chicago style pizzas at that. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Right. What yeah. about you? And you maybe know maybe anything to a strip club or something? <laughs> Kimo, what are you looking most forward to uh, being in Chicago aside from the fight? Man, Chicago's a cool place, man, because I remember I wrestled out there um, versus, versus the Russian team out there, man, and they showed me some love out there. Shout out to Harvey Twisters because, you know, there's a wrestling program out there in Harvey, uh, Illinois. Uh, some great wrestlers here from that program. Shout out to them. and I'm hoping I'll be there, you know what I'm saying, to watch them do my thing. You know what I'm saying? And I look forward to just enjoying the city, you know what I'm saying, and just chilling after it's all said and done, man. Right. Well, awesome, man. Just one more for both of you guys. Um, this is a this is a big fight. The fans are really looking forward to this. All of us in the media are. Um, what makes? Why do you think this is such still a big fight and the rivalry still is so interesting? And you know what keeps it so interesting for all of us? You know, from you guys' point of view, um, we're all really excited for this rematch. Sorry, who was that question directed at? Yeah, just to both Rampage, what makes you think, or what do you think, why do you think this rivalry is still so interesting to the fans and, and all of us in the media? It's been a you know a while since you guys fought the first time, but we're all still right here interested, ready to go. Um, what makes it so interesting to you guys, Rampage first? So, you, know, you know, MMA world are, are not idiots. They're not fools. They're not suckers. They they know a real rivalry when they see one, and they, they know King Mo. Uh, he got a big mouth, and uh, I think most MMA fans want me to shut his mouth. King Mo, man, it's, it's a real rivalry. We don't like each other, and uh, he can say most MMA fans don't want to see him try to shut my mouth. But if they do, they should be disappointed on the thirty first. They shouldn't be. They shouldn't be. They shouldn't be mad. Have their feelings hurt? You know what I'm saying? It's part of the game, man. It's hurt feelings are part of the game. Well, I wish you guys uh, the best of luck in Chicago. I'm looking forward to covering you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Our next question comes from Danny Segura. Your line is live. Hi. Uh, thank you. My first question is going to be uh, for King Mo. King Mo, the last time you fought, uh, Rampage, um, you talked to MMA Fighting and you told them about how the canvas was very slippery and that was a factor in sort of planning your feet and, and, and landing strikes. Um, did you ever address that issue with, with Bellator and is that something you, you addressed uh, leading to, to the rematch? Oh man, the canvas been changed. Uh, the first, the, under the old Bjorn regime, the canvas was that cheap blue velvet, you know what I'm saying, so people were slipping. Then they tried to change it up a little bit and uh, I remember when I fought when I fought Lenny Vassell, I was ice skating all over the all over the canvas. I was straight ice skating. But now they changed it up, you know what I'm saying? So you don't see no one slipping or falling. So it's gonna be you know, it's gonna be, you know, you're gonna see the best of me and Quentin. Man, on the thirty first team we'll go slip into the ass whooping. <laughs> that canvas one slipping, man. I I fought on that camera several times. I ain't slipped not once. Yeah, that's funny. That's funny though, Quinn, because uh, and, and my boy put up a, my boy put up a thing talking about how you want to change the canvas. I can show. I can I can post it for you because my boy, everybody can put up the blue canvas. Everybody did. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, you know what? To give, to give you a little credit, you might be right because I I got a bad memory, but uh, you still go sleep up on the ass with it on 31st. Yeah, we're gonna see. <laughs> we gonna see, man. Yeah, gonna see. But you one, one thing you gonna enjoy is the Chicago style pizza because we know like you like to eat. And hopefully you can get yeah, that, yeah. that sponsorship by Flat Tummy T. Because I've seen the videos, man. Look how old and you're looking kind of fat. You know what I'm saying? We're kind of fat here. <laughs> flat Tummy T to do some work. King Mo, I'm, I'm glad you I'm glad you think I'm fat, homie. I'm glad that's that's what you're thinking about me, man. Because, I know. Because, I know you are, man. That's why you didn't why take not? a fight at 205. That's why you yeah, took a yeah. fight at 205. You took it at heavyweight, player. I know what it you is. You took it at heavyweight. You mad. Listen, you mad, but you mad. Listen, I told Scott Coker I wanted to go heavyweight. All right, they want me to fight you at catch catch weight. If you if you mad about my weight, you shouldn't have took this fight. I'm gonna put all. Oh no 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 no! I, 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 I listen. I don't night, care about weight. When the night we, I'm be weighing two sixty on the night we. That's fight. cool. That's two great. Two I don't I don't care. I don't care about listen. Feet. 
I don't care. I don't care about weight. I chose. I I chose to fight anyway. I'm cool with that. I didn't know I was fighting. They said two, three, five, anyway. It's cool, but listen, you let yourself go. You fell off. You let yourself go. You fell off, man. You let yourself go. I see you look at you look how fat and sloppy you're looking old, man. You still mad? You still mad? You still mad? I asked you about those nipple rings, ain't? That's why you try to fat shame me, huh? You still mad about those nipple rings, ain't you, homie? That's what it you is. You don't huh? doubt. You need new material. That's what you need. Let me guess. We've been quitting star package. No, nipple no, rings. No, no. Oh, your brother's thick. Oh, you're ugly. I don't need new material, dog. Quentin, you've been saying the same stuff for seven years, dog. You need new material. I know. Listen, brother, you need a ghostwriter. It's been seven years. Hey, hey. You need a you need a ghostwriter. You need a ghostwriter. You need a ghostwriter, dog. You need a ghostwriter, man. You're, you're corny. You're lame, dog. Even the Memphis, all the Memphis, hey, let's go with the thing. All the Memphis, all the Memphis, seven months ago. All in your own city, dog. All in your own city, seven months ago, got love. You only get love in your own city, dog. Memphis, all the Memphis, seven months ago, got more love than you do. I was in your own city, dog. They don't, they don't talk about you out there, man. Cause you don't go back. Okay. It's yeah, like, man. Yeah, you know, ghost part. You're lame. You're corny, dog. You're looking old. You're looking old, dog. You're looking old, too, dog. I'm going to tell you something. Listen, listen let me tell coming you something. 31st is definitely going down, man. That's what it is. Next I'm question. Tell you I'm going to tell you something. I'm not the type of guy. I don't fight for love from other dudes, man. I fight to feed my family and put my kids through college. You may fight so you can get a lot of attention from dudes and shit. That's probably why you got those nipple rings. Pardon but me. Our next guys, question comes. I don't care if guys in my city don't, don't talk about me. I don't care if guys... Don't love me. I don't care. I don't fight for the love of dudes, homie. How many times I got to say it? You can fight. That's what you fight for, and that's probably that's probably why you ain't that good. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And guess what? Guess what? You still lose to a guy that ain't that good on 31st. I fight at money weight. That's the reason why I said money weight, because I fight your fat ass at heavyweight. Okay. You ain't fight. Hey, guess what? You ain't fighting me at heavyweight. You fighting me at catch weight. No, heavyweight, player. Ain't no catch weight here. It's a heavyweight, dog. 265 is oh, oh, a weight oh, class. Oh, heavyweight. Oh, oh, I don't do no catch weight. Oh, wait, wait. You're I don't do no catch weight. I weight 265. That's what you're telling me? Yes. Yes, you can. Ain't no catch weight. I ain't no hoe. I fight. I don't do no weight catch weight. No, no. The hell no. I was told to fight with that catch weight. I'm going to. No, no. Hey, no, Quentin. Thought, you can be as heavy as you want. Ain't no catch weight. I promise you on that. Uh, I would never do a catch weight. That's weak shit right there. I'll fight you at your weight. You know what I'm saying? Catch weight. The, no, never, I wanted, never. I wanted you can fight, fight never. I wanted, I wanted to fight. I wanted to fight a heavyweight because yeah, I'm, I'm Quinn, a big boy. I'm a big boy. But I'm gonna the, show you. I'm gonna show you. The I'm fight, the, the fight, the heavyweight. Shit. The fight, the fight is a heavyweight. Not, not two thirty-five. Not two. No catch weight. I don't do catch weights. Never. All right. All right. Well, you're gonna catch this weight on your face. Okay. Our, pardon me. Our next question comes from Bob Carson. Your line is live. Hi, I have a question. Thank you for uh, Mo and Rampage. Mo, I'll start with you. Um, you've you've made fun of Rampage about what you see as his lack of commitment and preparedness. Um, do you see Rampage as being more vulnerable now, either physically or psychologically, than when you first fought him? Man, I don't know. I don't really. I, I I don't know. I don't care. I'm just trying for the best. Ramp- I'm trying for a 205 pound Rampage, but I know. That because you know he's vicious there, but if he's gonna be a little heavier, he's probably gonna be, you know, he's gonna have some some holes, you know what I'm saying? But if he wants to come in heavy, two sixty five, two seventy, I don't care. It don't matter, man. Weight don't, you know what I'm saying? Weight don't mean nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? He can come in however big he wants. I don't care. I still fight his ass. Don't matter nothing to me. Now, Rampage, do you have any response to Mo's claim that Redney wanted you to win the first fight, as well as the suggestion that that may have played into the outcome? Hey, guys, we can tell weight don't matter to King Mo. Look at his girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? We can tell. He don't give a fuck about weight. Listen, listen. King Mo want to talk about my weight, and he think that hurts my feelings and stuff like that. Yeah, listen, it ain't no secret. I'm older now. I'm an older fighter, and I and I have a thyroid problem that, you know what I'm saying, it's hard for me hey, to excuse lose weight. Excuse listen, me, I'm, on medic- I, listen, I'm on medication, but what I did but what I did was I addressed the, the problem. I went and saw a specialist, and I talked to my coaches. And my and my and we decided to go heavyweight and and lift weights, get stronger, get bigger, and so King Mo can can fat shame yourself all he want. I didn't ask to fight King Mo. I wanted to fight a heavyweight because I'm a bigger guy now. I left King Mo in in the past. And I figured like, yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to knock him out. I wanted to rematch. But I felt like, you know what, fighting King Mo again ain't gonna be nothing but a wrestling match. And you know why I want to do that when I'm a striker? I like putting on exciting fights. I like, you know, being exciting. That's why you know what I'm saying my career has went towards the way it went. Uh, and because I, I come to fight, you know what I'm saying. I come to fight, so 
I don't care what King Mo say about my weight or, or what anybody say. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing Bellator a favor by giving him the rematch with King Mo. And he had a problem dealing with me at 205, and he's going to have a problem dealing with me at 260 in shape. <laughs> wait, wait, what shape is that? Circular? That's about it, oh, dog. Yeah. Come on, man. Just play oh, yourself. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, about yeah. it. Man. That's so, cool. As long as you listen, listen. As, as, as long as you're happy, as long as you're happy, man. So I'm mad to me. As long as you're happy and you're ready, to, ready to go, I'm cool with that. I'm happy. I'm happy, King Mo. I'm happy. That's cool. Dude. Right? That's good. Then I train, that means I'm fighting a good point. I train. I train my. I train my ass off. I'm happy. I'm in. A, that's I'm good, man. That's good. I'm in better that's shape. Good. I'm in better shape than than when the first time I fought you. That's cool. Think about that. And I'm strong. Okay. I've been, I've been, okay. I've been living. I've been living waste for six months. Think about that. I ain't living cool. waste my whole MMA career because because my coaches was worried about me being too big for 205. Think that's about cool, that. man. Whatever. You go, Whatever you choose, you want to come up with stronger. You're gonna fight a stronger in shape rampage than a 205. Okay. Hello, pardon okay. me. Our next question comes from Danny Sikora. Your line is live. Uh, yes, uh, for Rampage. Um, Rampage, uh, earlier this year, you talked about how you still might have to fulfill your, your UFC contract following this bout and that you were complimenting uh, retirement after after the bout with, uh, with King Mo. Um, have you thought about that? Is there any update on that? The only update you guys need to know about is this fight on the March 31st. You know what I'm saying? We, we can talk after after this fight. That's the only thing that's, that I'm focusing on, the sudden... King Mo ugly ass up. That's the only thing I'm. That's the only thing I'm focused on. I ain't focused on my contracts or nothing else. The Quinn the the uh, Jack started started shit. The same old lame ass jokes, dog. Come with something new, man. Damn you, lame. What? I don't got corn in hell. You see a ugly? You're your birthday. You're ugly. Yeah. Quinn, if I'm ugly, what? Hey, Quinn, remember, 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 hey, remember, hey, remember when we was at, the, at Walmart? You asked them one female who looks better than me or you, and they chose me. Remember that? <laughs> Obviously, I'm looking yeah. when you ugly. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Straight up. Cousin, Next hey, question. Next you're question. Next cousin, question, man. Cousin, all you, all you doing is the same old stuff, man. You're lame. You're tired, man. Cousin. Come with the questions, man. Come on. Come with the questions. You have cousins that said you look better than me. What the fuck you talking about? Okay, all my cousins. Yep. You right. All my cousins. Yep. Go ahead, man. What's the question? That was lame ass nigga, man. Dude, um, dude you got your back, though. You can say that. Your cousin got your motherfucking back, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rampage, is that true? The the Walmart the Walmart story that uh, you guys went up to somebody and asked uh, who was the better looking one? Yeah, and and his cousin was the only one that said King Mo. It was a dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ain't no girl. Okay, so so so, I why, think, so hey, Quinn, I, Quinn, I, Quinn, I, Quinn, why would you go? So here's the thing: when you suspect, why would you go to some dude asking who's better, me or you? Why would you go I, up to some dude? Yeah, you did, Quinn. No, 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 no. You asked the females. All the females chose me. You are you striking out, man? Look, you asked the females. They chose me. And then you try to say some dudes? Just suspect, dog. Next question. Next question, man. Next question. This is amateur hour, dog. This amateur hour, man. This nigga, this nigga is corny. I asked the crowd. Nigga is lame, dog. Come on, man. You guys wasting my time. Hey, I keep asking. Y'all know I like to laugh. I asked the crowd, and this and one dude said, King Mo. All right, thank you. Okay. Operator, we'll go to the next question. Yeah, go to the next question. Our next question comes from Steve Morocco. Your line is live. Hey, Quinn. Um, one of the things uh, King Mo told us on uh, our show the other day was uh, that uh, you wanted to fight Crow Cop or Fedor uh, before uh, this fight ended up uh, getting made. Um, is that is that true? No, I, I never asked to fight any names. I've never asked to fight names in, in, in my career. Only names I've asked to fight, like, I want to rematches with, you know what I'm saying, people like... Uh, Shogun and and you know John Jones and Rashad Evans those those names I've I've said in my career I never said any names I just told Bellator I wanted to fight like a heavyweight guy that that strikes I'm tired of fighting huggers and humpers man I gotcha and then one thing I wanted to clarify real quick you, you mentioned the um, underactive thyroid is is that in any way related to the TRT th- uh, treatment that you did about four or five years back. Hey, how in the fuck will will uh, thyroid be affected by uh, doing testosterone? Something that your body produces. Our body, all our body produces testosterone. Most likely, uh, thyroids, unlike thyroids, is family uh, related. It's, you know, it runs your family. How in the fuck would would 
replenishing your body with some with something that's natural that your body normally produces. But as you get older and, and become an athlete and and use up, your body has to has to uh, make more. How would that fuck up your thyroid, you stupid ass motherfucker? The fuck off my motherfucking phone, you bitch ass motherfucker. And with that, we'll go to the next question. Our next question comes from Sean Alshadi. Your line is live. What type of question is that? That's weird, man. But, um, that dude's stupid, I man. Dude, dude is stupid. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know. I, I, was, I didn't understand it, but go ahead, man. It's whatever. Next question. Well, hey, I appreciate the time today, guys. Just really quickly, uh, I want to backpedal a bit. Rampage, were you, were you told this was a catchweight contest? Yeah, I was told that it was a catchweight. I don't know if my, if my coach is lying to me or what. I was told to do a sketch weight that I got to weigh 235. Uh, King Mo, told. Told that, were you told anything similar? Hell no. Even even on the poster, they say heavyweight bout. Now, there ain't no catch weight. No, your coach is lying to you, dog. Listen, is it heavyweight the whole time? Even when they announced the fight, they said it's heavyweight. I don't do no catch weight. I think, to me, personally, I think catch weight is weak. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's what? 125, 135, 155, 170, 85. 205, seven weight classes, man. And you pick one and we fight it, and it's heavyweight. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, ain't going to make no weight class up 235. That's weak. Yeah, my uh, coach has been lying to me. My coach has been my coach has been over here. He's sitting right here. <laughs> I see him <laughs> crazy. My coach has been lying. <laughs> so, so, Rampage, I'm guessing man, that you're going to try to shoot to come in under 235 since you thought that was the limit. Well, yeah, I thought that was the limit. I thought 235 was the limit. So. Oh, okay. Well, I just wanted to clarify. Well, then, last thing for me, uh, Rampage, I'm just curious because the way you talk about this fight is interesting. I wonder, is this a fight that you're even really, like, interested in or is that that gets you excited or is this something that you kind of see as, like, a chore you have to do to get through? Man, you guys have no idea how much King Mo motivates me. The guy's mouth is ridiculous, and that's, and that's what I need. I wish more of my opponents would talk shit like King Mo, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times, you know, uh, when I go out there and fight, like, I'm not even motivated most times I fight. I didn't, I didn't even care, you know. I'm going to keep it real, you know what I'm saying? I, I enjoy I enjoy fighting. I, I love the fighting, but the training is the part that I have to get motivated for, you know. So I'm a natural fighter, you know what I'm saying? I can I can fight any day, any, anybody, anywhere. I don't care. I enjoy the fighting part, you know. But the training is what, you know what I'm saying, I have to get motivated for. And King Mo has... Uh, motivated me more in this camp than I've been motivated in, in several years, and and um, you know, what I'm saying it, it's making me even love the training and stuff again. Because now I'm, you know, so I'm doing stuff that I haven't haven't done in years, and, and uh, you know, so I, it's quite the contrary to what people think. I'm very motivated for, for this fight. Excellent. Well, hey, saying that, I wish I w- I wish I would been with the shape I'm in and stuff like that. I wish I would been fighting somebody who. Who you know, what I'm saying is a, a a banger, somebody who who can uh, excite the crowd. You know, what I'm saying somebody's like a stand up guy, like somebody like Matron. Matron comes out and fight and stuff like that. Somebody like that, y'all know what I'm talking about. Not somebody that comes in game plan and just try to hold you down and try to you know, what I'm saying squeeze out a W for the judges and stuff like that. You know, those are the type of fights that that you know, what I'm saying like the crowd loses. You know, what I'm saying I like I like I like to fight those type of fights where you know, what I'm saying it's a it's, it's a rumble. Yeah. Well, hey, I appreciate the time, gentlemen. Thank you. Our next question comes from Mike Hisco. Your line is live. Hi, a question for Rampage. Um, is it safe to say that you're done with light heavyweight at this point? Uh, I don't know if it's safe to say that yet or not, because um, because I'm still I'm still um, you know, going to the specialist about the thyroid and stuff like that, and and I'm doing a lot of research and try to um figure exactly uh what's going on and 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 uh looking at um good uh, specialists and like nutrition specialists and see um how you counteract the uh, hypo uh, thyroid cuz I'm the type of person like if something's wrong with me you know I'm going to like try to research as much as possible and, and try to correct it you know uh, so uh who who knows but I I like being I like being bigger you know what I'm saying I'm yeah. stronger, and I get to I get to lift weights now. My, my whole career, I never was allowed to to uh, lift weights because even as a uh, light heavyweight, I was always a big light heavyweight because uh, my legs are really big and I hold a lot of weight in my legs, and so uh, I was never really allowed to lift weights and stuff like that. But I kind of like I kind of like the aspect of it. But you know, I'm not used to um, 
you know what I'm saying, uh, heavyweight yet. And I would like to just get my feet wet and fight a couple of big guys and, and see if uh, – and, and and see how I go. I had a couple of heavyweights in and in, in training camp. I was sparring with them, and and um, uh, they really didn't want to spar. I feel like I could let go on heavyweights, and and they really didn't like sparring with me and stuff like that. So I think that I can, you know, send do some damage at heavyweight. Okay. Um, and we just found out uh, Vanderlei Silva is going to be fighting uh, Chael at the uh, pay per view at, at at MSG. Um, is uh, Vanderlei is that a fight you'd be interested in revisiting in the future? Yeah, I'm always interested in, in, in fighting Vanderlei. I think I owe him two more ass with me to be up on top of him. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot, Rampage. Mm-hmm. Our next question comes from Ty O'Keefe. Your line is live. Yeah, thanks for your time, guys. Uh, my first question is for Rampage. Coming off a uh, decision at not fighting since uh, last year, how important is it for you to make an impression with something more than a decision against King Mo? Well, well, uh, can you repeat the question? Coming off of, you know, a decision and you uh, haven't fought since last summer, how important is it for you to do something more than earn a decision against a guy like King Mo? Well, um, I never had those type of pressures and stuff on me. Like, I, I can always say, yeah, I want a knockout. I'm going for the knockout and stuff like that. But if, it, if the knockout don't come or the finish don't come, you know what I'm saying, it don't come. It's, it's MMA. Like, anything can happen. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying, um, all bullshit aside, uh, King Mo is really good at at, at, at his uh, craft. You know, so I could talk shit about him all day and stuff like that. But let's be honest, uh, uh, King Mo is a very established um, wrestler uh, in 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 uh, mixed martial arts. He he has great uh, ground and ground and pound. And um, out of uh, a lot of people I fought, he he has the best setup for uh, for for on um, takedowns and and stuff like that. Because honestly, I was really surprised at how many times he took me down in the first in the first. Uh, fight because I trained so much uh, on defending his takedown that people forget that that I'm a wrestler, you know, so I'm not an established wrestler, but, you know, that was my first, my first art. So, you know, I'm, I never, you know what I'm saying, put a lot of pressure on like, oh, if I don't, if I don't finish uh, King Mo, you know, saying, it's, you know, uh, this, that, whatever, I don't, I don't have those type of pressures on myself. Like, yes, I, I'm going to be looking for the finish uh, 100% of the, of, of the fight, but uh, if it don't come, you know what I'm saying, I, I Another um, W will have to suffice. Thank you very much. Uh, my next question, quick, is for King Mo. For you coming off a loss in December, uh, the t- second round loss, how important is it for you to, you know, shut Rampage up with, with more than just a decision that everybody keeps wondering about, you know, maybe getting a knockout win? How important is that for you? Hey, is that your real voice, though? Because it's like you smoking the stuff. <laughs> nah, man, that's me. That's me. I, yeah. I, yeah, man, look. Every time you go out there to fight, man, you try to get that knockout, man. You know, you try to go out there and get him out of there, man. So every time you go out there to fight, man, you try to make a statement. You know what I'm saying? Like you, no one goes out there like, you know what? I'm going to go for a split decision. Everybody goes out there for the, for the KO. If it don't come, you, you try to get that W. You know what I'm saying? But we all go out there to try and get that finish. That's why we throw punches. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And, Thank you so much. And, and the statement King Mo makes is that he's horny. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for your time, guys. Good luck. <laughs> our next question. Without a hit, without a leg, our next, you be doing King Mo. You our next question comes from there. Ryan Sprague. Your line is live. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, first question for uh, Mo. Hey, Mo, I know that uh, you were talking earlier about how you're going to show that the gap has widened. Uh, how exactly how has that gap widened? Wait, I can't even hear what you said, man. Oh, sorry. I said... Uh, I know that you said that you were going to show how the gap has, or that the gap has widened since the last fight. How has that gap widened for you? <laughs> what gap? Is gap is, <laughs> you gonna see at thirty three? It's tuning in, man. It's free on Fight TV. You gonna see the gap is widened. You know what I'm saying? You gonna see. You, you trust me. You gonna see. Awesome. I ain't say nothing else. <laughs> and uh, question for you, Rampage. I know that uh, there's been an eight and two record for King Mo since you guys' last fight, and you have a two and zero record since the last fight. Uh, why the difference in the uh, amount of fights? Uh, I, you know, I don't, I don't know, man. It's, 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 man, we're fighters, man. Some people fight more, some people fight less. I used to fight six times a year when I was younger. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm, I'm I'm an older gentleman, you know. I say I make more money when, when I fight than when I used to when I was young. I don't have to fight that many that many times in in a year, you know. what I'm saying I'm 
I'm happy. I can fight once once or twice in a year, and and I'm I'm happy. I'm comfortable. You know, saying uh, you know, as long as I I, I I still get that adrenaline out of me, I'm I'm good. You know, what I'm saying. I do. Thank you very much for your time, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Our next question, or and our last question, comes from Eddie Goldman. Your line is live. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Uh, the first fight you guys had ended up in a decision, of course, Rampage won, but there was controversy over it. I want to ask both of you, what do you think you have to change in this fight to get a decisive victory? What do you have to, how do you approach this fight differently? I guess I'll ask this to Mo first. Hey, uh, hey, EG, happy birthday, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, uh, thank you. But thank nah, you. Oh, no problem, man. But, uh, when it comes down to it, man, I'm just going to – I don't got to change much at all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've, my, my skills have improved. I've added more to my my, my skill set, and he's going to see. You know what I'm saying? I don't got to change much at all. You know what I'm saying? He he. what about wrestling? Well, when the hook with your sprawl, work that sprawl good. You know what I'm saying? Work that sprawl well. Because guess what? You know what? Since you worry about me, hump your leg. Guess what? I'm going to hump your leg in 15 minutes. How about that? <laughs> I'm going to hook you in 15 minutes here. So just get, work on your sprawls, work on your sprawls. Working on sprawls and working them real hard. Mo, what what do you feel you have to do differently if it goes to the judge's decision after three rounds? Man, I'm gonna get more takedowns. That's it. Just more takedowns. I'm gonna take him down over and over again until he loves that ground. That's all it's gonna be. And rampage. What do you think you have to do differently this time? Because, again, you won the fight, but there was a lot of controversy afterwards. Where, 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 was, where was a lot of controversy on, on um, King Mo's Instagram? Well, media people, fans, uh, online, media, the reaction. Media, that media people, fans. Like, honestly, I, I, I watched that fight um, recently, right? And I'm, I'm, my biggest, I'm my biggest critic. And I just don't see a, a whole lot of controversy since... Um, <laughs> So but you had to put a rematch. You had to put a rematch on. How you win a fight from last week? For the crowd, dog. How you, but how you win a fight? How you win a fight from last week? You know, I, you guys can say all the controversies and shit that you want, but you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, a fight's a fight, a win's a win. Like, like if you if you see two fighters and one fighter's face look like potty meat, and other fighters look got he got scratched like he fought a girl. Like who y'all think? Who you gonna think won that fight? Like you can say, oh, he took him down a whole lot though, and you know there's scores of points. But you know I'm from the street. Hey, I grew up hey, fighting hey, on the streets. A fight is a fight. If, if somebody looks like they got their ass kicked, most likely they got their ass kicked. Hey Eddie, guess what? Eddie, last time I checked, they they score fights by rounds, right? Yeah, by rounds. Yeah. So I won the first and third. You won the second. So that means you lost. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, you won the first two. You won the, you two. You won the first. Yeah, two. two. Listen, two is greater than one. Listen, I want you. No, a, listen, listen the professional. Listen, listen, listen. Professionals. Most of the people, most of the fans, most of most of the media have me winning. That's why you asked for a rematch. Look at McKee and all them. In the your corners look sad. You look sad. People start leaving. Dog, you know you thought you lost. I know people yeah, that I in your say, camp thought I you lost. Your boy. Sad. I was sad because I didn't knock you out, man. Oh I yeah, yeah. Great spin. You better. You should work for Donald Trump. Great spin, no. dog. That's a great spin. Work for Donald Trump, it man. Was. He needs one. Great was. spin, dog. Man, this is one thing, man. Is this is that the last question, EG? <laughs> Come on, man. Your chin is Come on, man. Hey, I'm out, man. I questioned myself that you didn't go to sleep. Like I saw, I saw Newton <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. knocked okay. out with a spin. Tell me something better. Like man, this guy going. Come on, so, come on, man. Something better. Sure, man, I was going to sleep. I was sad, man. Yeah. I questioned myself. Okay. You was. <laughs> I was. You asked for a rematch, though. Yeah, that's yeah, so what you asked for a rematch, man. I want a rematch, man. Yeah. I want a rematch. Man, hey, this is the last question, man. I'm out, man. I got stuff to do. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We, are, we are officially done with this conference call. I want to thank all the media and, and Rampage and Kimbo for all their time. Uh, the, the event, again, Bellator 175, takes place next Friday, March 31st, at the Allstate Arena in Chicago. Airs live and free on Spike at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. You guys have a beautiful day.